2, AirPod settings and how to use them with other Apple devices. Hey everybody, welcome to the Lifehacks IRL Apple AirPod user guide and tutorial. This is part 2, where we go over AirPod settings and how to use them with various Apple devices. If you missed part 1, please check it out as we go over the basics of how to set them up and basic use. And don't forget to check out part 3 after this video for AirPod tips and tricks. Now, let's dive into the AirPod settings. In the settings, you can adjust what happens with the double tap feature, change the device name, and other audio controls. First, we'll need to access the iPhone Bluetooth menu. The easy way to get there is to 3D touch settings, and then choose Bluetooth. If you're using a device without 3D touch, then you can choose Settings, and then Bluetooth in the Settings menu. Once we're in the Bluetooth menu, you can now access the AirPods settings by pressing the I to the right of the AirPods in the list of your Bluetooth devices. The first option we're going to discuss is the double tap on AirPods settings. By default, this is set to Siri when they are used with an iPhone. As you can see, the other options are Play, Pause, and Off. Since I mostly use my AirPods in public places, like the gym or walking down the street, or on the subway, I find the play pause option is better for me, as Siri doesn't work so well for me in loud public environments. However, if you primarily use them in places like the car or private office, Siri may work better for you. There is no right choice. Just choose whichever one works best for you. If you're not sure, experiment with these options to see what works best for you. Also, in this menu, you can change the name of your AirPods if you don't like what it chose by default. Just press on the option and edit as you wish. You can, of course, disconnect them or forget this device from your iPhone on this menu as well. The disconnect option isn't overly useful as you don't really need to do this often as they can do this on their own when needed. Forget this device essentially uninstalls them from your iPhone and will remove them from your iCloud account. When you use this option, they will be uninstalled from all of your Apple devices that share the same iCloud login. The automatic ear detection option, when turned on, will automatically transfer the active audio to your AirPods when they are placed in your ears. And lastly, the microphone option allows you to choose a specific microphone to use when recording audio or talking on the phone using your AirPods. Unless you have a reasoned preference, I would recommend using the automatic setting as this samples both microphones and uses the one with the best audio quality and clarity. Using the AirPods with your other Apple devices is really simple. I'll show you how to use them with your iPad and MacBook. But they of course will work with almost any newer Apple device with Bluetooth, like an Apple TV or even an Apple Watch, without the iPhone. First I'll show you how to use them on an iPad, but like I said, it's really simple. Just swipe up to access Control Center, and then swipe right to access the audio controls. Your AirPods will appear in the list on the right. You simply select them on the right, and your AirPods will switch to your iPad. You can even do this to switch from another device they were connected to. And now lastly, to use your AirPods with your Mac or MacBook, go to the Bluetooth menu. Scroll down to your AirPods, they will be on your list, and then arrow over and click connect. Now they're connected to your computer. Going between your Apple devices with your AirPods is pretty quick and simple. No need to disconnect them, it's all looked after for you. This concludes part 2 of our Apple AirPods tutorial. If you haven't already, don't forget to check out part 1, and stay tuned for part 3. There will be links posted below to the other videos in the series, and there should be some here on the screen as well. If you found this video useful, feel free to hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tech how-tos. See you in part 3!